up YouTube and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Tiffany Routes if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel like this video share this video and comment down below and today's topic we're going to be talking about five tips to help you stay motivated on your fitness journey now these are my top five tips that, are, that I think are very helpful so let's get into it number one have to stay mentally prepared change your mentality I have a list here I'm sorry you have to change your mentality now if you want to succeed in your fitness journey you have to want it for yourself not for anyone else not for the benefit of someone else you have to look deep down inside because that's what's going to get you to your fitness journey now like I said you have to want it for yourself educate yourself on the benefits of working out and make it fun make it fun don't look at it as a task or a chore something you have to do look at it as something you want to do and keep in mind diet 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 i'm sorry meal plan meal plan is a part of you gotta remember if you want to succeed it starts here and here it's all about what you take in because your results are going to be 80 to 90 percent strictly diet so I advise you to get a trainer, get your nutritionist plan, sit down and talk to you to help you navigate through your journey. Like what works for me may not work for you, okay? There's no such thing as a magic pill, guys, okay? You have to sit down and take the time, eat right and know when to eat and what time of day to eat. You know, you want to take in your fats earlier in the day so that, you know, they'll be digested by the end of your day. Now, like I say, you want to get your trainer and nutrition and stay positive. You don't don't beat yourself up because if you go into it with a negative attitude, that's what you want to get negative results. So stay positive. Don't beat yourself up. We all fail it sometimes. And guess what? We can get back up and try again. That's what my girl is doing. Okay. Number two, you want to set realistic goals. Okay. I stress the word realistic goals. Okay. I'm going to the fitness journey saying well then lose 10 pounds in a week because that's just probably not attainable okay because the first few pounds they lose strictly water weight because when you take in fewer calories that we burn in you start your body starts to burn off the glycogen first which is that stored energy and attached to that glycogen is water so that's what we're losing all of that water from all that stored energy okay guys so set realistic goals okay what i like to do i have to i like to set long-term goals and short-term goals my long-term goal is to lose this amount of body fat by such and such day and the date isn't today it isn't tomorrow it might be four or five months down the road and my small goals is you know okay this week i want to lose one pound. That's something that can probably happen, okay? Then next week, once I reach that goal, guess what? I set a new one. Okay, this week, I want to lose another pound. This week, I'll, by this time next year, I want to be this way. But we have to take steps to get there, okay? It can be a long process, but okay. We can manage, okay? Like I say, there's no such thing as a magic pill. Okay, guys. Don't think you can go to the store and buy this pill and the weight's going to come off. Like I said, that takes time and it takes a healthy, clean diet. So that's why I enforce you to get a trainer, a nutritionist, okay? Someone that's going to help you. Because what worked for me might not work for you and vice versa. You know, those diets that you see in a magazine, they're cool. They're generic and they probably can work, but you have to get you a diet that works for your body, not that person diet who wrote that article. Okay, guys, keep that in mind. And as far as supplements, they're there to supplement to help and to help mean that you're gonna do the work too. Okay, I'll give you an example. Hey, I need you to help me move this table, meaning that. I'm going to put in some work too, and I need you to put in some work, and we go push this thing out the way. And that's that push, it's that navigation through our fitness journey, okay? Got it? Got me? You with me? Good. Number three, schedule your workouts. 
don't take time out your schedule to work out. Make it a part of your workout, okay? And make it fun. If you know you only have a few minutes in the day before you get to work, and that's the time you want to do your cardio, do your cardio then. Or just wait till you get off work when you know you have four or five hours to yourself. Right? <laughs> and that's the time you need to go to the gym. Do your cardio after you work out, okay? So if you do your cardio before, you're just going to fatigue your muscles and you're not going to be very productive doing your workout. So cardio last. Get your workout in first. Do your cardio. Go home. Feel good. Have fun. Stay positive, okay? Go into the gym with a healthy mindset. And trust me, you're going to have fun, okay? Got it? All right, number four. Keep up with your progress. I have to stress that. Me, myself, I like to take weekly photos of myself every week every friday when i get up out the bed i set my camera up take my pictures front back side side i label them i label the week number and the date and i like to go back and look at my progress and i will show you that later i'll show you my progress i'm on week number i think three right now so and sidetrack okay side note i'm getting ready for a show with this new division of the npc and you know, I, I'm almost there. My body is almost there. That's why I keep up with my progress. And like I said, I'll show you those pictures. So keep up with your progress. Write down your weight. I don't write down my weight every single day because my weight fluctuates and that's totally fine with me. I might be two pounds heavier today than I was yesterday and I might, you know, might go back to that weight. But I look at my overall appearance, okay? I look at those photos and say, okay, I made way two pounds less, but look at that, they're finishing those arms. Look at it. Look at that. Look at these legs, which I'm really, really focusing, like going super hard on my legs right now. So that's why I keep up with my photos. That's a good way um, to compare. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say, sorry. And, uh, sorry guys. If you don't meet that goal, that's all right. Set a new one, guys. Set another one. Just keep on moving. Now, number five, last one, number five. Join a support group. Join a support group, even if it's just your trainer. That's the only support group you have. That's someone, okay? Or if you got some gym buddies, you know, get together with a gym buddy. But probably no one that likes to talk, talk, talk. <laughs> That's gonna interrupt your workout. I like to try to get in and out in 30 minutes at least with my workouts. 30 minutes of cardio, I'm out of there. And people tend to not bother me in the gym either way, so I don't have that problem. And um, I don't know many people, personally know many people, a lot of people that's into bodybuilding like myself. I know of a young lady in St. Louis, and I personally know three people, and like me and my coach, we're really close. So he is my bigger support system right now. We talk all the time. That's the one that keep up with my weekly photos and make sure I'm on the right track and like help me out like, hey, you know what? How do we go switch this up, you know? And when I do reach my best, so we just, we take a different approach. Maybe it's time to tweak their diet a little bit, uh, do more cardio, less cardio, whatever works. It's sometimes it's all about trial and error just to get us to that point. But definitely get your support group. There are lots of groups on Facebook, y'all, that will help you. They're very nice and very welcoming, too. And I'm a part of a few. I'll link them down below. Um, I think having a support group really kind of motivates you because, you know, they're, you're feeding off each other's positive energy, and that energy is going to make you want to go harder. Like, yeah, you know, and share your ideas with your own. Um, your fitness buddy like hey you know what this is what worked for me it may or may not work for you this is what I like to do so you should try this so let's try this together let's go run the uh, stadium stairs you know something like that and make it fun make it fun and stay positive guys I promise you that will help you on this fitness journey and, and when you get to the point where you feel like giving up just think about all the reasons why you started okay Sometimes you want to quit and take a break. If you need to take a week off or a few days off, do it. But don't stop, okay? Keep going. We all in this together. It takes time, but it's time worth taking, okay? Those are my five tips to help you stay motivated in your fitness journey. I hope mine's help. 
if you have more tips that you would like to share leave them down below let's work together this is a journey that it's a never-ending journey you know but we have the time to do it so let's do it and once again i appreciate you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't guys i really appreciate it i'm trying to grow a movement here okay guys i'm trying to grow here so thank you 